So how many max prices is this shoe worth? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello Sneaker Tribe, to celebrate the release of Air Jordan 36, we will be giving away this special edition Jordan Basketball from Limited Edition. All you need to do is comment down below your all-time favourite Air Jordan shoes. Remember to subscribe and watch our upcoming videos of sneaker reviews. Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Tribe, the Practical Sneaker Review. Today, I'm your host, Gwen, and together with me is my co-host, PK. Yo, Sneaker Tribe. On this show, we'll be reviewing the hottest sneakers in town and... So remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below on shoes you want us to review. Also, remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Today, we have a special guest with us, Ismail, who is one of the coaches in SG Basketball one of our very young and aspiring coaches. Uh, hi guys, I'm Ismail and I'm actually a student studying at RP right now and I'm also a coach at SG Basketball. I've also played for SG Basketball for their Division 1 men's and I've been here for the past two to three, year, two to three years and I've joined since the Milo Cup youth team. Uh, a little bit more about myself, I actually play basketball a lot and I don't have other hobbies actually, wow. other than watching movies and all, pretty much boring stuff. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the show, Ismail. Welcome. Yeah. And thanks for taking your time to join us today. Today, we are going to unbox this shoe very shortly. What do you think from this box this shoe is? It, I can clearly see there's like a Jordan <laughs> sign on it actually. So, it's a Jordan shoe. Definitely. That, that I know, but other than that, for the model, we've got to wait to find out. So, uh, Ismail, are you someone who is very particular about the type of uh, basketball shoes you wear since you play at a pretty high level in Division 1? Uh, yes, I'm extremely cautious about the shoes I wear, especially since my shoes, actually, my shoe sizes are actually pretty big. I'm about US 13 to 14. Yeah, so it's pretty hard to get in Singapore in the first place. Yep. And then secondly, shoes, there are different types of cuttings and all. So for me, I prefer those uh, more narrow ones as compared to the white ones. Mm. Mm. And lastly, I've had bad experience with shoes, ex especially with the KD11s and all. So it gives they give you blisters. So I would uh. say I'm very, very cautious about the shoes I wear. So where do you usually get your shoes? Um, Foot Locker. I get them from Foot Locker or straight from the Nike store itself mm. or sometimes online because sizes are very hard to come by actually. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think for those of you who don't know, usually sizes above US 12 is very very rare in Singapore. Mm. So without further ado, let us unbox this shoe together. Maybe I'll let you do the honors, oh. you can unbox the shoe All right. over here. You can see it has a very unique opening as well, mm -hmm. unlike other shoes. Alright, let's take a look. Oh. Okay. Wow. Nice. Oh. Alright. Do you know what pair of shoes these are? Yes, so... <laughs> <laughs> this pair of Air Jordan 36 is sponsored by Limited Edition. So remember to stay tuned till the end for a special offer. So before we continue, let's play some highlight clips of Luka Doncic and Jason Tatum. Got to get it in. Here's Luka. Gets it away. It's gone. A Doncic dagger. He what, wins what's it. Showing off his skill set. Luka knows he's got a defender. Murray lurking. He got into the paint. Spins, fades, hits. And he thought he was hot. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, players keep playing, man. I, again, it goes to the uh, Trey Burke. That one goes very well. That's a nice pull up and find by Doncic. Luka hey. finding Powell. Powell scores. Tatum getting inside. Dinwiddie with the drive by, blocked by Tatum. 
Boy, starting to do it at both ends of the floor. We saw that in the bubble. Brown and one. Bucks with two timeouts. Boston just used their last timeout. Here we go. Tatum. Giannis switches on to him. Tatum and Anna Kumpo, the superstar. Step back three on the way. Oh! If now, what do you think of the both of them? Uh, they are two of the bigger superstars right now in the NBA. And both of them are pretty big, uh, small forwards. And they're moving at a quick pace. So basically both of them, they are actually very agile and they are performing a lot of incredible moves as well. Uh, as well. And if I'm not wrong, both of them, they just finished the Olympics. And Luca actually has put on an amazing performance so far. So if I'm not wrong, both of them, they are set out to actually potentially be the greatest in the league. They can be actually future Hall of Famers. Who knows? And hopefully both of them, they can win a, win a finals chips. Mm -hmm. Or maybe join the opponent team if they can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with uh, what uh, Ismail said and I think that Luka is really on his way to become a NBA superstar and hopefully Jason Tatum, who is a disciple of Kobe, will also step into his shoes one day as one of the greatest. So the next thing we are going to talk about is uh, the colorway of the shoe. So Ismail, can you like take a look at the colorway and tell us what you think of it? Uh, first look at it is actually a pretty it's a, it's a bright purple color so this is actually pretty cool because you don't see many bright colors in Singapore actually you get the boring old colors or the normal shoes so to see this is actually quite amazing and if you want to stand out when you're playing a basketball game this is the color you want yeah and and uh, I you believe can see it's one of the trending colors as yeah, well. Yeah, it's a trending yeah. color especially. Like mm. if I was a guy, I would like... Um, if I was a guy, I'm actually a guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would actually wear this and I would like... I wear this to every game. And it's cool. Give me some popularity as well. Nice. So if I was a girl... <laughs> if personally, I'm not a fan of this color because it's too bright for me. Uh, I would rather wear shoes that like what Ismail said, boring and basic so yeah this is not my kind of color what do you think PK? Hmm. I think again I, 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 coach uh, Tristan will say that this is his favorite pink color <laughs> but it's actually more to me again like a salmon color <laughs> and um, for me this color doesn't really work I, I would I've actually seen the Luca Donkic colorway which is a blue one and I think that one is so much uh, better something that I would like yeah. a lot more. Mm. So, how many colorways are currently available? Any of you know? Um. I think there's only two colorways available in Singapore now. It's released in Singapore, yeah. So next, we're going to talk about the design of the shoe. Okay, as we know, all these uh, signature sneakers they always have a lot of details embedded all over the shoe. So maybe you'd like to ask his mouth to take a look and at the shoe and tell us what does he see on the shoe itself. Okay, from the first look when we unbox the shoe, it's actually pretty light. So, I can just lift, lift that there's no struggle. So, because most of the Jordan shoes, they look bulky and some of them are pretty heavy. So, first off, when I took the shoe, it feels extremely light. So, I know that if I wear this to a court, I won't have any like struggles because I don't like heavy shoes personally. And secondly, aesthetically, when you first look at the shoe, it's quite appealing and you can take a look from the sides as well they have cut uh, they've cut off the side so it's because of the two-way and make sure that it's not it looks like a flat foot but when you look, took a take a closer look at it it's actually uh, like a glove it's, yeah so if you wear it I can tell that it's, it will actually fit you comfortably mm. and it's actually translucent material as well for the shoes so because it's trending if I'm not wrong for shoes to see your socks as well because I think yep. in the past people they wear colorful socks but then what's the point of wearing colorful socks if you can't see the socks yeah so maybe this is something they decided to come up with as well and yeah so actually if you if you look at the inspiration behind the design uh, this part the front 
where the tongue is actually it takes its inspiration from the AJ5 okay uh, because this is also the 30th year of uh, anniversary of the AJ5 wait is it AJ5 or AJ6 yep so actually if you look at the design of the shoe there's a lot of details embedded within the shoe itself so if you look at the inspiration behind this you can see this uh, tap on the tongue this is actually taken from the Air Jordan 6 as well as this the heel tap as well so and if you look very very closely most people would probably will not have spotted this but if you look here you can actually see little dots little holes on top but if you actually count it there's actually 36 of them so it's, uh, it's one of the details of the shoes and then if you look uh, on this side of the shoe can you see this logo? Can you see what it is? It looks like a... It's like goggles to me. <laughs> infinity. Yeah, it looks more like a infinity. It's supposed to symbolize the infinity uh, logo as well. So apart from these details, like uh, what Ismail said, yeah, you, you can actually see through the shoe from the side. So this is actually a new technology that they use a Lino Weave technology to enable the shoe to be more uh, lightweight. So, what do you think of the sole of the shoe? So, first look at it, you'll think that it's like just like any other ordinary sole for a basketball shoe. But then, if you take a closer look at it, you can see the design is actually matched so that just nice when you hit the floor, you can come to a sudden stop. So, it's actually pretty good. And you can actually see that they added an extra bump in the sole. Mm -hmm. So, you can, it, it helps you get a greater feel of the court actually. And, yeah, because of the air zoom, uh, shoes with air zoom actually makes it more comfortable mm. so in general okay. i think they designed these shoes this shoe quite good because they went for the aesthetic look and achieved the comfortable aspect of basketball shoe as well and that's pretty hard because most of the shoes we look at they either go for very good looking shoes or very comfortable shoes you mm. can't go for both at the same time so yeah. agreed yeah i think yeah in terms of the traction wise this Herringway kind of a design, the zigzag kind of design is something like I mentioned in an earlier episode is something that I really like and I think it really helps to improve the traction of the shoe and what Ismail mentioned about the design matching with the level of comfort and performance is something that uh, many shoes uh, fail to live up to in one way or another. Yeah. So now let's head over to Short Zone for our functionality test. Let's go! shoe's performance, I would give it a um, grading of uh, probably between an all-star and MVP because uh, true enough it is very light when it comes to movement you can almost like not really feel the shoes at all but in terms of traction I think it's excellent so it's so far one of the best pairs with the traction and uh, in terms of support surprisingly it was pretty good Except for the, the forefoot, I, I think it tends to shift a little bit, okay? So maybe because of the material of the weave, so probably that has to be the only thing that I didn't really like about the performance test, alright? So in terms of functionality, this shoe, definitely one of the best shoes, but in terms of pricing wise, uh, maybe it will not be something that matches what it's going at. Probably something slightly lower might be more uh, fitting in terms of the shoes performance but in terms of looks definitely worth the price. Ismail, what are your likes and dislikes on this shoe Air Jordan 36? 
uh, I like the fact that uh, when you actually wear this shoe you can only feel uh, it's like a glove so your it just grabs your uh, feet when you wear it in and you don't feel this bottom sole because when people look at the shoe they think oh this is a flat foot it's not gonna fit me but then no this doesn't affect you at all but there's another reason why I hate this design as well because for me I go for affordable shoes I go for long lasting shoes so if I'm planning to buy this type of shoe uh, and this thing it snaps if I'm unlucky and it snaps that's it the whole shoe is going to come off mm -hmm. so that's one thing I got to be very careful of but all in all it, that, there's a pro, one pro and one con I feel um, tightening wise it feels very airy so let's say most of the people uh, most of the athletes they have uh, some players they have uh, feet sweat mm. so the shoe gets smelly when you wear or their socks because the shoe is not able to release the sweat or release the smell but with this technology I think the sweat is able to disperse and the smell is able to go away even faster so in a way the pros are with the cons but mm. If you're looking to find a long-lasting shoe or make this shoe long-lasting, I suggest you wear it indoors because outdoors, due to traction, if this thing wears out, I think you will. Mm. So, Ismail, which other pair of basketball shoes will you compare this with? For me, I would compare this with actually uh, the Jordan's uh, Why Nots, so the Russell Westbrook shoes. Because... Uh, when I looked at the sole, it reminded me of them because the sole is actually pretty much like them despite for the middle part here both of them, they have the two soles right here so, and the why not shoes, I think they have the same design and when you compare to the why nots, they actually, both of them are actually light both of them are very very light and another shot I would compare this to is actually Yanni shoes, the Greek Freaks mm. because of the top sole actually, it fits your, your whole feet so these are the two shoes that are currently very popular in the market as well. So with the combination of this shoe, I think this shoe will be actually be a hot seller. Mm. Mm. Okay, for me, I, I would say that this design, at least the base of it, reminds me of the Jordan 35, which is its predecessor. And um, of course, some parts of it feels like a Jordan 6. Yeah, and this is like sort of a combination. But definitely, the, this uh, lino weave around the upper is something that uh, breaks apart from previous AJ uh, signature sneakers. And possibly it could be something that they'll carry on if it, con if it is popular, then probably they will continue to use it. But uh, for me, I'm always worried when I look at uh, such type of material that's overly light because uh, they could possibly not offer the same type of support that normal uh, cushioning and shoes would offer. Yep. What about the holes inside? There's, there are like holes inside the soles, right? Yeah, the insole. Insoles. So when you look at it, it just looks like holes from outside. But when you take a deeper look, it actually feels like there's a double layer. So beneath the holes, there's actually another sole. So maybe this, this actually gives a cushioning. Mm. So because when you choose, they have a flat sole, Okay, uh, when you hit the floor, you just feel one impact. But these shoes, they actually soften the impact for you. So they are really going for the comfortable aspect of the shoe as well. So Ismail, have you watched our previous episodes? Yes. So do you know how our ratings are like? Yes. So what are they? So first one will be amateur and the last one will be MVP. Oh, they were the in-between. <laughs> the in-between. I know there's second for college, uh, third for... All star and four for superstar and last one MVP. <laughs> close, close. He the almost third, got yeah. it right. Yeah, the almost. third is pro and the fourth is <laughs> and the fourth is all star. Oh, so damn. it goes like first amateur, <laughs> second is college, third is pro, fourth is all star, and number five is MVP. Oh, I'll get mm. confused with the pro. <laughs> <and all -star. laughs>before we go into the rating itself the price of this shoe 259 SGD Ismail told us that he doesn't really like very expensive shoes right 
So, do you think this pair of shoes is worth the price? Um, for me, no. Maybe other people they have a different opinion. So, even if I had like like five million dollars, I wouldn't spend on this shoe because I feel that <laughs> shoes are like I don't know. Just based on affordability, I would like if I hundred if I had two hundred fifty nine dollars, I would rather buy four of like I could buy Yanni shoes like twice two Yanni shoes. That is true. Rather than buying one of these shoes, not dissing on this shoe, but just in general, I feel that this shoe is not there yet for the price level. Because when you go for two hundred fifty nine dollars, there's even the Air Max BB. They are going for cheaper than that now. Mm. So considering that with a shoe that has more technological advancements than this shoe, and it's going for cheaper than this, I would say that this shoe I wouldn't go for the price. So that's a big letdown for me. And yeah, don't worry. We have a special offer at the end of the show. Stay tuned. So now we're going to rate them. Um, so what do you think of looks? How would you rate them? The looks definitely a five. Because this Wait, shoe is what's a five? Ah, uh, five is MVP. <laughs> 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 Just five, testing him. Five is MVP. Because <laughs> uh, first look at it, you definitely know it looks cool, and it will get you all the. People you like, so if you have a crush, go impress them with this shoe. <laughs> they will definitely show them a shoe. follow you back on Instagram. <laughs> yes, uh, and aesthetic-wise, just from the translucent material, like how we previously discussed, it's definitely a five. Because most shoes they don't go into detail on the aesthetics, especially. So, yeah, and and I forgot to mention earlier about the. So as I was, uh, we were discussing earlier. Like they actually really went into detail on the aesthetics, and some of the things you can't actually notice on first look. But if you look deeper, you can actually realize. Like, for example, when we were unboxing the shoes, I thought this was like Russian or Korean or something. But when I look deeper, I realize it's actually English, and it's like it was saying 36. So I'm actually quite shocked, cause for a person as blur as me, it took me a while. <laughs> But I like the fact that I'm discovering these details, cause. It gives more adventurous feeling, because you want to explore more of the details and like uh, Air Jordan's actually letting you do that, and so it's actually a five for me based on the MVP mm. for how aesthetics. About, mm. So how about comfort? Comfort, definitely five again, because mm. this shoe actually they went for the comfortable aspect as well. As I was saying uh, earlier, they went. Extremely hard for the comfortable aspect and aesthetic aspect. So, the fact that the aesthetic part、uh, does not affect the comfortable aspect, they are totally two unrelated things, but they're able to match it into one. So, I'll go give it a five as well.、Mm-hmm. MVP. Yes. So, how about the purpose of this shoe? I think the purpose of this shoe is actually to give you a more overall grip on the floor. Because if you look,、uh, take a closer look at、uh, the players that are actually playing、uh, and using these shoes,、uh, Luka Doncic and Jason Tatum, they are very big forwards. So if you just give them any random shoes, like for example, not this thing on Nike again,、uh, those Zion shoes that actually popped off during his、uh, playoff,、uh, his college game. So players are actually NBA players are very heavy. So you need to give them a shoe that actually reassures them that you'll give them a comfortable aspect and. When they switch their direction, so when they switch direction, they don't have to be worried about the shoe popping off. So this shoe, I think, is able to serve its purpose very well. And the fact that Luka Doncic was able to pop off with this shoe, especially, and actually do very well, I think this shoe will actually be very popular in the market. And、mm. yeah, so it's a very good you, shoe. So how would you rate them? I'll rate it a. Five. 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 Okay, so now the final. What do you think overall? Overall, I feel that it's one of the best shoe, one of the best bas- basketball shoes out there. Maybe the best, but we have yet to know that because there'll be more shoes and all. But if you give me the sh- this shoe as compared to the other shoes we have right now, I feel it's the best. But Price range wise, I feel is the worst. <laughs> Price range wise, prices really affects me a lot. Sorry, but yeah, because、um, 
this shoe, even though it goes for, they were able to achieve most of the things, but price is a very concerning fa factor for most people. But if they went on discount, I would feel that most people they were able to purchase this. They will actually come down and wear this, cause especially for the sole, because not many uh, shoes they give you the sole for outdoor. Most shoes they actually give you the rubber outsoles, and rubber outsoles you're not meant to use them for outdoor. So this shoe is actually, I would say it's very good, but mm. price is an issue. Price is the main thing that makes them buy these things. But if I had the money and I wanted to splurge, I would buy this shoe. Mm. So you're going to give it a pro? I'll or? give it a, it has five baht. Because of price, I'll give it a, can I say three and a half? Sure. Three and a half, three and a half. And that's Air Jordan 36 for you. So how many Max Spices is this shoe worth? I'm not wrong. Uh, current market value of Max Spicy is about nine dollars plus. So if you think about it, we just round it off to ten dollars. <laughs> so two hundred sixty dollars. That's about twenty six meals right there. So if you're planning to bulk up this season, <laughs> you can just eat twenty six Max Spicy meals. If you want it? Just go get it. Cause that's my advice for everyone. Cause if you keep delaying good things in your life, you won't get it. So just go and get what you want. Wait a minute! Five million dollars I wouldn't spend on this shoe, because... <laughs> Thanks Ismail for coming on to our show today. It was really a good experience to have you sharing about the shoe and telling us that this is worth 26 Max Spicy Meals. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, no Thank problem. Thank you. We have come to the end of this video. Remember to like, subscribe and comment down below on what videos that you want to see or other shoes that you want us to review on. Remember to follow us on our social media page such as Facebook and Instagram for more updates on NBA and Global Hoops. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye! Bye. Congratulations to those who have stayed tuned to the end of this video. As we mentioned earlier, we have an exclusive offer from Limited Edition. Limited Edition is giving you 15% off the Jordan 36 to viewers who show this video at your stores.